This why you don't use roids. You can also say, this is why it's not as good to be a woman or to be old or to have poor genetic history or to be obese, overweight, or to stand still or... <laughs> Coach Greg, and have you seen the veins on these guys? Number of people have requested videos on Nick Walker and now this guy with the freaking doctor signature on his biceps? Have you seen this? What is going on with these people? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna explain exactly what's going on. Is it healthy, unhealthy? What can they do about it? What should you do about it? So in case you've never heard, Nick Walker, IFB pro bodybuilder with freaky veins everywhere. Arnold Schwarzenegger was like- What's the story with his veins and the, and the, and the calves in the front? I, I, I've never seen that before. What the heck's going on with his legs? But there's definitely something going on there. Yeah, I would definitely yeah. have this checked out. Nick Walker has a tremendous amount of vascularity and people are saying it's steroids. Oh, steroids this, steroids that. And more recently, guy on TikTok's got over 10 million views, over a million likes. Guy's got signatures written on his freaking biceps, veins crawling everywhere. And of course, people are saying steroids, but is it in fact steroids? That premium Pfizer hits different. Is it steroids, growth hormone? What is going on? Aren't varicose veins unhealthy? Response, yes. Next response, not accurate at all. Most are natural. Okay, a little simple biology. These are varicose veins. Steroids do not make your veins expand and get bigger and get jacked. Steroids make your muscles grow, but they don't make veins get huge. It's not what's happening. So you can't just take steroids and the veins just grow. What you're seeing here is a combination of weak blood vessels and increased blood volume. So in case you didn't know, arteries carry blood away from the heart and veins bring it back to the heart. The heart beats and forces blood outwards. And then on the way back, the veins carry it up through the milking action. Muscles massage, squeeze, milking action. You know what that is. Squeezes the blood and it goes back up to the heart. It takes a lot less effort to pump blood down because of gravity than to bring it up against gravity. And the veins have one-way valves. Consider a valve like this, okay? So here's your vein and there's a valve inside. These valves, they shut and prevent blood from going down. They open up, blood can come up, and they shut so that it doesn't come down. But what happens is the valves can get weak, the blood vessels get weak, and these valves, they lose their ability to keep the blood from going down. If that happens, the blood can no longer go up and it suddenly comes down and can pool. This pooling of the blood causes the veins to expand because there's more and more blood inside. So what once was a nice pretty vein is now massive and swollen. And that is what you are seeing. So what's happening in Nick Walker's legs and this guy's arms is the veins are no longer strong enough to prevent the blood from pooling and going back down. It's not good. Of course it's not healthy, but it's not just because of steroids. I'm going to tell you what it's from. So there's several predisposing factors that can result in this. First of all, you should know it's way more common in women than in men. So despite the fact that men have more testosterone than women, it's actually much more common in women than men. Genetics, some people just have weaker veins than others just because they were born that way, often result in varicose veins before the age of 40. It's a varicose vein. My grandmother has them, my brother has them, my mother has them, and guess what? They're all fine. The next age. Think of it. As you get older, stuff, it starts to break down. The veins are no different. Think of it. You're 50, 60, 80 years old. You expect the veins to be as strong at 80 as they were at 20. It doesn't work like that. Being overweight, whether it's obesity or having a lot of muscle, if you're overweight, it puts more strain on the blood vessels. So Nick Walker, if he approaches 300 pounds, whether it's through body fat or muscle, it does in fact place more strain on the heart and your entire circulatory system. Next, just sitting around all the time or standing still and not moving. 
If you're not moving and just sitting there, milking action, it doesn't occur. The muscles are moving to squeeze that blood up. If you're not moving, the blood is just sitting there. How do you expect it to get back to the heart? It's harder. So it puts more strain on the vein. And get your mind out of the gutter, not that vein. And are varicose veins, in fact, dangerous? Well, it depends. They certainly can be. It all depends. Certainly, if you have them, go get checked out by your doctor, especially if you have swelling, feet and ankles, or notice some sores. Be very careful. Go see your doctor to be sure. What may eventually occur is thrombosis. This is when a clot forms, all that blood's pooling, and it forms a clot, blocks the vein, and trouble develops. If blood can't go through or if a clot breaks off, it can travel throughout and block another artery or vein. If it happens in the brain, you can get a stroke. If it happens in the heart, heart attack, not good. And if you have varicose veins, what can you do? The first thing I would recommend is that you lose some weight. Being lighter is easier on your cardiovascular system. So if you do in fact lose weight, it's going to make it easier for blood flow to occur. Next, get regular exercise, 150 minutes of cardio a week, maybe even more. Get up, go for a walk, move. If you're sitting and not moving for extended periods of time, it can in fact make varicose veins worse. Next, if you're at work and you're standing still, maybe you're a cashier and you, you can't move around very much, take breaks as often as possible and either do exercise, move around, or elevate your legs. When your legs are elevated, the blood is more easily going to flow back to the heart. Consider this, when you're standing, not moving, you're working against gravity. It's much more likely to result in swelling of the veins and collapsing of the valves. Also, you know those compression socks that you see people wearing? Compression socks are literally squeezing on those veins, helping milking action to occur. It's pressing, squeezing the blood, which allows it to flow upwards towards the heart. And so is this in fact a result of steroids? Well, it's certainly not making it better, but it's not the only reason that people have varicose veins. So if you do take steroids, more likely you're gonna have increased blood volume and if you're larger, not moving around, not doing enough cardio, the blood vessels can get weak, the valves collapse, and you'll see swelling and varicose veins will be the result. One paper cut and you are done. A number of comments talking about getting bled out if you get a paper cut. It's a vein, not an artery. Veins bring blood to the heart, not away from it. If you cut an artery and the blood is pumping the blood through, every time it beats, you're going to lose some blood but a vein is bringing it back through the heart. It's sitting there pulling, not doing anything. You're not going to bleed to death from having a paper cut on a vein. How do I make sure I never get this? Well, watch this freaking video. This why you don't use roids. You could also say, this is why it's not as good to be a woman or to be old or to have poor genetic history or to be obese, overweight, or to stand still or and so on. So no, it's not just roids. Legs in my veins do not bother me whatsoever. I actually think they look pretty badass um, and there's nothing wrong with them. So next time you see varicose veins on a bodybuilder, don't think steroids, think, oh, I know what that is. That thing that mostly women get, but guys still get it. And if you're overweight, it's not so good. And you need to do cardio and move around more and lose some weight to minimize your chance of getting it. Think that. Stop thinking steroids. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset IB Pro. Please watch the bloops. Don't forget, harder than last time supplements, training books, cookbooks, coaching plans, me and my team, phone consults, cameos. I'm doing it all. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm, and until next time, I am out.